Welcome to Text and Tables. Let's get started by opening up the OpCreate dialog and adding a text stat here into our network. If we head over to the common page, we'll see that our text stats can hold several different types of text. That includes plain text, which also includes Unicode characters, Python scripts, GLSL, JSON, XML and HTML, and TScript, uh, which is Touch Designer's original scripting language. To interact with our text app, we can make it viewer active and we can then edit our text app directly. So we might say something simple like welcome to touch designer and I'll add a little emoji here. Now that's great. And we often use this for uh, putting the content of our text app in something like a text top or text comp, but we often use text ads to also write Python scripts. So let's go ahead and add another text app here into our network and let's write a simple print statement. So I'm going to print uh, hello world. Now we can see that this looks exactly like our previous text, uh, text stat. So let's head over to the common page and let's change that to be Python. And then we can take advantage of our syntax highlighting to run our text stat or to run our script. We can right click on the operator and select run script, or we can use a keyboard shortcut that's highlighted here over for us on windows. That's control R. Now I've run this several times, but where has that information gone? Well, where that information is going to show up is in the text port. I can open up the text port by heading to dialogues and then selecting text port and dats. And we can see that's where my messages are ending up. If I right click run my script again, I'll see that in uh, sure enough, that's where it shows up. Now in Python, uh, we can not only use print statements, but we can also use debug statements. So if I were to say debug, uh, use debug as a keyword and then write something like this is a debug message. We can see that when I run the script this time that we have our original message, hello world, and then we have a debug message here. Now debug message is, uh, will print the contents of the message, but it will also include some additional information that can be really helpful for us whenever we're writing Python code. This includes the operator that the script was run from and even the line where that debug message came from. Now this is pretty interesting, but in addition to text dats, we also have table dats. So let's take a look at what that means. Let's go ahead and open up the opcreate dialog and add a table dat here into our network. Table dats, uh, similar to text dats, can be edited directly by making them viewer active. Uh, and then we can right click on the header to add additional columns. So for example, we might add after to add another column. And we could also right click here on the row to add below to add additional rows or columns here. We can also head over to the fill page uh, and set our fill type to set size. And when we do that, we can set manually the size of our table. I'm going to go ahead and leave my table at a size of two by two. I'm going to move it over here. To the right. I'm going to make it viewer active and I'm going to edit this first cell and I'm going to put in here apples and in the uh, second row, first column, I'm going to type in oranges. Now we could fill in these columns uh, manually, but it's common for us here in Touch Center to actually do that programmatically. So let's take a look at how we can do that with a little Python. So I'm going to add a text dat here to my network. I'm going to go ahead and set the language to be Python. I'm going to make it viewer active and let's write a little script here. So I'm going to give myself a comment uh, with a pound key. This is going to fill in our table. And then I'm going to go ahead and start by uh, writing out the script I want to execute. So what I want to do is I want to fill in the operator table one, and I want to fill in the cell that's in the zero row in the first column. So here our table contents, the way that we address the cell that we're going to uh, put content into is to specify the row in the column. So zero one, this is the cell that we're going to put in a value of 10. And let's go ahead and repeat that same script here, table one. And this time I'm going to go ahead and in one, one, I'm going to put in, let's say 15. Now let's go ahead and change our operator, be operator back to be not viewer active, right click and run our script. And we'll see that we filled in the contents of our table. Now this is great, but we often want to convert the contents of a table into say a chop. And we can do that by right clicking on the output of our table, heading over to chops and using a dat2 to convert this table into uh, a chop.
So let's go ahead and let's update the contents of this table. And let's we can do that by modifying our script here. Let's say 20 and 30. And then we can right click and run our script and see that it updates the contents of our table, which in turn changes the contents of our chop. There's lots of different things that we can do uh, with both text and tables, but having a foundational understanding of how we can use scripts uh, to modify the contents of a table is a great way to get started.